I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. We just got this piano in. It's a Kawai RX2, which I'm very, very familiar with the Kawai RX2. I've worked on tons of them over the years. In fact, for about 10 years, I did all the pianos in East Provo for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and they, and they bought exclusively Kawai. I think they might still be, be buying only Kawai for their chapels. Um, and uh, the RX2 was, the, was the, main, the main piano in the chapel. Of course, it wasn't a black shiny one. They had like a specialized uh, LDS color that was just for their chapels, the, the kind of an oak color. But the piano is exactly the same. And it's a, it's a fantastic piano. I've, uh, I don't know how many of them I've worked on, not only in chapels, but in customers' homes. And I've seen them over the years. And it's just, it's just an awesome piano. Um, what is it, about five foot ten, I believe. I'd have to look it up. It's about five, five ten, six foot, somewhere in there, um, which is kind of an ideal size for a living room, I think. Not so, not so big that it that it completely monopolizes the room. Of course, in my house, I have a a nine foot piano, which is awesome. But for most sane people that aren't like completely obsessed with pianos, six foot is about ideal. It's not not so small either. That it, uh, that it sort of lacks the power that, that uh, like a five foot, like, like this piano, I really like this piano a lot, but at five feet, it, it kind of lacks, lacks the power that a six foot piano like this RX2 has. Okay, so this particular piano is 2004. It's in excellent condition. We've, we've totally refurbished it, which, uh, which is a very thorough process. Um, I guess almost 20 years old. It uh, that's that's about right. About 20 years. That's that's what I've said for 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 a long time. That that pianos, while they last forever, like like these pianos over here in the in the mirror, those are those are pianos from the turn of the century. By the time they get that old, they have to be totally rebuilt. So new strings and hammers and and all sorts of components. But after uh, after about 20 years, 25 years. They, they've kind of lived, their, lived through their maybe what, what you could call like ideal use and now they need to be refurbished as opposed to rebuilt. Rebuilt is, is, is where, you, where you're actually replacing components, but refurbish is more like taking the current components and making them function as well as they can. So things like hammers, for example, making, reshaping hammers. The flanges need to be repinned so that, they're, so that the friction is correct. The bushings need to be need to be replaced. Um, of course, they need to be cleaned. Keys need to be re-leveled, reset. What's called the dip, which is the distance you can depress the key, and then the, the action geometry needs to be needs to be changed so that it's uh, so that it's regulated. Full, so that's full regulation, so that everything is functioning correctly. Okay, so so this piano, uh, I really really like this piano. I'll play it for you in a second. But let's let's have a have a quick look at it. Kind of look look things over. Cosmetically, it's in I would say A condition, not A plus, but uh, but a strong A for sure. Let's get get a shot over over here. You see the top lid and the legs and everything it looks really good cosmetically and then <clears throat> so a condition and then functionally i would say same thing a strong a bordering on a plus i guess i'm, I'm really reserving a an a plus rating for a piano that's that is brand new so when we refurbish a piano we can get it really close to brand new we're very very thorough in our refurbishing but, uh, but it would probably be disingenuous to say that we get it 100% of the way there to, to brand new. I mean, that's, that's obviously impossible, but we can get it really, really close. So that's where, that's where this piano is. So let's, uh, let's listen to it. Sounds nice. Unplug the little thing there. We'll get more of a yeah.
That's a really nice piano. I'm really happy with this. And, and maybe I'll mention briefly where this piano came from. So this piano was purchased in, in, uh, in Virginia and the guy that, that uh, he, he was at, he actually traded this piano in. He purchased a nine foot, I, I mentioned that earlier in this video, he, mentioned, he, he purchased a nine foot Mason and Hamlin piano that we had totally rebuilt and he traded this piano in. Um, so I guess, uh, I guess I mentioned that only to emphasize that, that this guy's a serious pianist and, and for him, he's, he's kind of like me, uh, kind of obsessed with pianos and, uh, and I guess a six foot piano, it did, it did the job for 20 years, but he was ready to expand into something nine foot from this. And, and so this was, this was his piano. Um, and so the, uh, um, the, the refurbishing that we did, um, uh, essentially the, the goal is to erase that, uh, all of that use, but, uh, yeah. And it, and it turned out great. The touch is great. It, it definitely feels like the, the piano that, that did belong to a, a serious pianist. So come check it out and uh, see what you think. Thanks for watching.